What is this? Could it be? Is it actually? Oh, look at that. A QR code. Amazing. All right, let's see what we can see. Comme ça, c'est un pur chef d'œuvre, une chose qui dure. Là encore, la tisse au visedate demeure la compagne fidèle. Partout où la performance compte, il faut une montre à toute épreuve. Tissot Quartz. All right, guys, so it's been a while, uh, and I apologize. Um, I've had quite a, things, quite a few things going on, but uh, you're not here to worry about my problems. Well, they're not really problems. I've been uh, helping my daughter, actually. Um, she's restoring her car, and I'll put a link up there at the top if you want to see her videos, but uh, she's restoring a Pontiac Fiero, and um, she's quite enjoying it, and so I'm helping her with her channel also. But you're here for this uh, nice Tissot. Now, I bought this for my mom, and uh, I wanted to get her something nice for, for her birthday, but she doesn't like it when I buy presents for it. She says you're wasting your money and you should be saving for your daughter's college, which I already am. But uh, regardless, I wanted to get her something. And this one was, uh, was pretty nice. Uh, it's a Tissot, um, gosh, I forget the model. I apologize, I'll put it down there at the bottom. It is the, um, yes, it is that. Um, it's uh, it's actually very nice. Um, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, obviously, I wanted to do a review on it before I gave it to my mom. Um, there's a, something on here somewhere. Where is it? Is it right? I guess I took it off already. Um, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's a Tissot, so what can I say? It has a very nice ETA movement, so I'll get into that directly, and I'll put pictures up there. It's a three jewel. It uses a, um, a 371 movement, or sorry, 371 battery, which I went ahead and replaced when I had it opened up. Um, I figured, why not? It, it makes sense, so I did that. Um, it is a, uh, it, it's an ETA, so I'm, I'm actually very pleased with it. It's gonna be a nice Swiss movement, and I think it's gonna last a long time. And this watch was very affordable. Now the, uh, you know, most Tissots are in the thousands of dollars. This one was one of their less expensive ones. Obviously still comes with an ETA movement, so it's very nice. This one, the MSRP was $425. i am not gonna tell you what I got it for because uh, I got it as a gift, but it comes with quite a few things. Uh, I'll just show you the box really quick. Um, it's kind of neat, shows the different buildings that Tissot has had over the years. Um, there's a manual down there. It comes in this, it's a red box with this cover and all the different brands. So it's kind of neat. But it also comes with a couple different uh, watch straps. It's got a, uh, a pink with black stripe or a solid black uh, strap. They're all NATO straps. The one I'm going to keep on here is this one. I think it's kind of neat. Unless my mom really wants this pink one, but I think it's a bit much. This one. I guess it still keeps it a bit feminine, or I mean, even a guy could wear this, honestly. It's no big deal, it's it's nice, it's cool. Um, the, the tachyometer, it does not spin, even though it looks like it does, but uh, the, the bezel is in pink. Uh, let's see, what else can I talk about? Um, it has a sapphire crystal, 
as you will see in the back, it actually talks about it, and I'll put that there. Well, let me shift it over here, and then I'll tell you about the water resistance. It is a 100 meter water resist, and obviously you can see that that's uh, decent enough to go swimming in. You can take it to the beach if you want, and with a NATO strap like this that is made of nylon, you don't have to worry about it getting damaged. Um, in particular, uh, it is only 100 meters, but I'm actually very impressed. So you can look right here and see that um, the case back has a neoprene gasket, which is pretty fantastic and much better than those nonsense rubber ones that most of them have. Um, but another thing you'll notice is that um, the watch comes with a, I don't know what you would call it, sort of like a baffled case back. There's a solid piece of um, some sort of a composite in the back. This watch is like deadly silent. Um, I'm going to do a quick recording just so you can see the, the, the audio and I'll put that right here on the right um, and right there uh, with this device. But it is it is super, super quiet. Like you, you can't even hear it. Uh, and even when I had the case back off, I could barely hear the movement ticking. Very, very fantastic ETA movement. But uh, with this, it was even it was even less obvious. Um, I mean, with the case on, it was, sorry, the case back on, it's like you, you can't hear it at all. Nothing, can't hear anything. So, uh, you know, that's that's a lot different than say sort of the Timex watches where that's part of the charm where you can still hear it. But I'm very pleased with this, and I think my mom is going to like it. Uh, I'll do some quick measurements and stuff, and then we'll call it a video. Because I don't want to make this too long, because I know nobody likes long videos. All right. All right. Oh, let's start over. Zero. Sorry, it has been a while. 40 millimeters. Okay, and the... Strap size, that's a 1920, oh, 19, a classic Swiss 19. You don't see very many of those. All right, and then we'll do the lug to lug. And that's about 40 also. And let's do the case back size. 9.5 case depth. Well, that's pretty nice. And you know what? Let's see if it has any kind of decent lights up. I'll turn this off, although it's still pretty daylight. Yep, so just, just the hands, and that's okay. Nothing else does, but that's all right. It still looks good. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I apologize. I've been going like three months, four months, six months between videos. Just a lot going on, very busy life, but I'd like to kind of change my channel a little bit. I think there's some things I would like to focus more on watch repairs. I will still do tons of reviews because I have about like 30 watches that I've bought and I haven't done reviews on them. And quite honestly, the batteries have actually died. So I have to open them up and replace the batteries, but I've got a whole bunch of other cool ones that, that I'm doing. I've got a series on the uh, the Bolivar Millennial watches, a uh, bunch that I need to fix. So I'm actually pretty excited. I just have to find time, but I hope you enjoy this and thank you very much.